you know at the beginning a woman would be very good to you a, a girl would be very good to you but if you have cheated on her and you have uh, abused her believe me that girl will change and then you will say look at her look how she is yeah, she became like that because of you. You don't know how to treat her. Even they are good guy. Yeah. So guy change because of the way that the woman treat them. They are, they are girls that, that cheat on men. Yeah. They are good guy. But most of them, it's an issue with guy. Especially when they have their mother by their side. You know what? I even, I, I saw a girl and a boy talking. So something happened between them. And the mother-in-law said to the girl, you know, he's a man. You have to respect him. You have to let him talk. You don't talk. Let, her, let him talk. Woman should keep quiet. So if, you're, if your son is talking nonsense, will you, will the daughter-in-law keep quiet? She has to talk. Even your mother-in-law, if, if you are really um, ming, ming, mingling in their relationship, if the daughter-in-law has to talk to you, Yes, she can. There are boys or there are girls, you know. They will never wish their partner a happy birthday or their husband and wife a happy birthday. But the day that this man, this woman will leave you, then you will wish that person happy birthday. There are boys or there are girls, you know. They will never wish their partner a happy birthday or their husband and wife a happy birthday. But the day that this man, this woman will leave you, then you will wish that person happy birthday. You know, in life, you must have the courage to leave the person that is not for you. Even if it means you have to stay alone for some time, you love that person. If you have to leave that relationship that do not belong for you, you need to, you need to leave that relationship. Uh, boys or girl, husband or wife, what they will do when they know that their partner loves them, they will make their partner know that there are other girl, other boy who loves them. So that way, men and women will go and fight with this or other person. Some people, what they do, for their, they leave their partner to go with married men, married women. It's not worthy to fight for this type of people. So that girl, he will stay with you two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. She will listen to you. She will give you time to change. She will pray for you. She will help you in every way. But believe me, one day, one day, that woman will leave you. Oh, if there is a good man and there is a bad woman, they do the same. That man will leave you. Now, if you are the one that is going to get married to me, let's say you will get married to me or you are my husband, you come and you mistreat me, I can accept to a certain, di uh, a certain limit, yeah? Not all the time. I give you several time to do it for with me. Then, hmm, if you let your mother come and talk to me as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter-in-law, you let your mother, you give your mother permission to disrespect the daughter-in-law. Or if you are a man, okay, uh, and the, the woman is giving the permission to her mother to disrespect the husband. Believe me, that wife, that husband will leave you. You don't have the right to come to us. Daughter-in-law, son-in-law, your mother don't have the right to come to talk with us. You are the one getting married to us, husband or wife. You come and deal with us. I'm not going to have relationship with your mother, right? So your mother don't have the right to come and talk to me and decide how many children I will have, where we will live, what I will buy, where I would stay. Bullshit. Now, this girl or this boy is not going to marry your mother or your father. And if you're having an issue, you tell your mother and your father to come and insult that man or that woman. Believe me, that relationship will be broken. Then you will say, oh, what did I do? Why did this man or this woman leave? This is because of you, because of your attitude. So I'm going to say to this man or this girl that want to get married, get out under the skirt of your mother. Again, I respect these mothers. This mother has, has given you food. These mothers has taken care of you. 
But when you get married, the mother don't need to be the center of attraction. It's between you and your wife. What is this nonsense? I'm even referring to women that are bad. Yeah, I'm talking on both sides. It's just that I'm speaking for men. It also in, uh, for men. Uh, it's also implying for women that tell their mother to come and enter their relationship. Stop doing that. Okay, I'm talking on both sides. A wedding is between you two. Not your mother, not your father, not your cousin. Not... Now, if you have this mother that is going to hold yeah, their son like that, even if the son married 10 times or the daughter married 10 times, this relationship will break. If you get a girl or a boy which is very, very, very stupid, you know, they will accept this relationship. But a man or a woman that has education, that has gone to college, to university, has grown up, they will not accept this mediocrity in their life. They, do, they won't like to have this kind of relationship where the mother-in-law is bossing, bossing around. They want to do what they want. You don't have the possibility to, uh, you know, how to take care of your family the way that you want. And the, the worst thing is then when this boy, oh my God, they are stuck to their mother. I know the mother has given you shower. I know the mother has given you food, but my friend, you are grown up. There's, the Bible says you have to leave your mother. Stop digging with your mother like that. You have to grow up. How can you marry a man or a woman that is a child? It's not possible. The, the marriage, the relationship will not work. Those, those girls or women that are married do not let your mother come and and give order to your to your husband because this is your husband your mother don't have any authority or permission to come and talk with these men okay it's between you and your and your husband that's what i'm saying as long as you're childish please do not get married the one that will bring bad words the one that will pretend that you know everything about your son this is your son i don't want my son to suffer with you oh my god stop being like that this is your son he has to get married i don't want to say the word my god stop being mother-in-law stop being that that person yeah we respect you we love you stay in your limit Stay out of the, the marriage of your son. So guys, stop being stupid. Yes, your mother has taken care of you. Your mother has given you shower. Your mother has given you milk. Your mother has given you food. All that we know. But now you are grown up. Stop being stupid. You have to get married. You have to be a man. Stop being a child. When will you be a man and grown up and get married and know that, you know what, this is my life, I need to live. Not be under the skirt of your mother. How will you grow? Stop being a child in your mind. And I'm talking to women like that, even to daughter, to, to, to girls who are still a child. We know what your mother did for you. But now, my friend, you're getting married. Grow up. So the daughter-in-law, they will love their mother. You know, but the mother-in-law, they will be jealous because the, the son is giving love to the daughter, yeah, to the, to the woman. So the mother will be jealous. So this is wrong. I have seen it with my friend. I have seen this thing happening. That's why I'm talking about that. You love the mother-in-law. You try to do good things for them, but they are jealous of you. My God, this is wrong. Your son has to leave you and go. Stop being stupid. Again, I respect all mothers. I have a mother, but everything I do not give, every problem I do not relate to my mother because I know it's not good. And by God's grace, if I get married one day, I'm not going to share everything with my mother. You understand? You know what? I feel shy to share this testimony, but. I was with, with um, there was a boy and the mother that was quarreling. That boy has someone in his life. You know what that mother said in front of the, of my friend. I was with my friend, yeah, my, my friend boyfriend. That mother said to the, to the son, 
You know, I washed your dick when you were small in front of the of the girl that the son is in love. What a disrespect for a mother to say that. So now my friend told me, but ma, how can a mother say that she washed when he was a child? But now the, the, girl, the guy has grown up. It's not the same. So I was shocked because, you know, when that boy is small, of course he will wash where, you know, he pee pee, right? I, I won't say that word again, just for, for respect. But then we were shocked because I was there also, yeah? And my, my friend was there, the boyfriend is there, that's the mother saying that. And we were like, oh my God, did she just say that she wash his, you know, his, where he pee pee when he was young? So it's not the same. When, she, when he was young, he was a baby, you wash him. Now he's a man. You can't say that you you wash him. Why? You make him remember for what? You human, stop gossiping. Your husband, your wife is your shelter, your home. The love that they have in their heart is your home. Your mother is not your home. You know, I, guys, I heard somebody say to the fiancé, before you were, I had my mother. Okay, I agree, but you cannot put your mother when you're getting married.